3D welding art. What exactly is that? That is a fantastic way for you to practice, sharpen, refine, and hone your welding skills and create something completely epic. And today I am watching season three of the Fabrication series with the Titanium Tornado. <laughs> So to start this off, you, all you really need to do is grab yourself some sort of block of scrap metal or whatever you want to work with. In this case, it's a block of CP1 titanium, about an inch and a quarter thick, just laying around in my scrap pile. And you need to start yourself a nice little foundation, in which in this case, it's, uh, it's just nothing more than a, a few dabs to kind of stack it up and make, well, essentially a blob. <laughs> It's just a, a solid blob of metal. That's your foundation. You got to make sure it's it's well penetrated and into the block, and you know move from there. Now this actually is a relatively involved process, and that's why I said in the beginning there that it's 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 a fantastic way to practice here because it's extremely involved in in what it is that you have to do here. Now you notice that my hands making the circles and I'm feeding filler rod, but as we look under the hood here. You know, maybe you can tell the machine's kind of dancing around a little bit. There's some heavy on the amperage, low on the amperage. That's all being controlled by my foot to actually increase or decrease the amount of amperage. My hand is still making the circles, the rod's feeding in there, and my eyes are very, very focused on exactly what it is that I have to do here. And the whole reason why here is because uh, the metal is liquid hot. And, of course, you know, living in this world here that we're living in, we have that fantastic uh, phenomenon, if you will, or natural law of gravity. So, titanium specifically, when it's liquid hot, it's over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So, 3,000 degree Fahrenheit liquid hot metal combined with gravity, that means if you get it too hot and you get it, you know, too wet, if you will, it's going to fall out, it's going to burn everything, burn through everything until it solidifies, and titanium stays hot. Uh, a lot longer than many other metals do because it's not thermally conductive. So, either way, just something to keep in mind. That's why it's really, really good practice here. But once you have a couple of blobs laid out, you're going to start making circles. And those circles, you're going to increase the diameter by welding on the outside edge of the circle uh, each time that you go around it. So, just work around the outside of it. Keep going around the circles. Make sure you take plenty of breaks to not let your metal get too hot. Uh, because once it actually gets it's it gets hot, it's going to start slumping. Now, I use that to my advantage on this one because I mean, what good is just a, a, a tornado? You know, it's not very exciting if it doesn't change directions. So otherwise, you know, it's just a plain old funnel. So to change directions, I got a heavy on the low side, heavy on the heat to get the side to slump, and uh, lighter on the heat on the side that I want to stand up, and that'll make it change direction. We'll just build up the edge a little bit on it. So you'll you'll kind of understand if you ever tried this out for yourself, but. Paying quick attention to you here, you can look at all those oxides that are forming on the titanium. Now, what's really unique about this is you don't always get a chance to actually see that in action or see what happens to it because titanium being a ridiculously expensive metal, uh, you know, we go to great lengths to actually shield it. Now, I've got a whole video on working with titanium. It's going to pop up on that video card down in the corner. Make sure you click on that one and, uh, and check that out and to see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So, again, that's kind of why, why it's really unique to... Uh, to be able to shoot a video like this, uh, you know, and show you all those oxide layers and all that nasty crap if you don't use argon. Now, the whole reason behind all of this, uh, doing this video here, or the, what really inspired it here, is I mean, I love to do, you know, 3D welding art, but I was down to only a few hundred pounds of argon left in my cylinder, and you never really want to run out of argon in the middle of a job because uh, it potentially you know destroys whatever you're working on and creates delays and all kinds of stuff so whenever I have a couple hundred pounds of a big job um, to do I always just you know find something to waste the argon or use the argon on. so uh, if I was to use like a jumbo gas lens on this one it may have been a little bit less oxide forming but I would not have a very big tornado at all it would be miniature and really not exciting at all so um, using a number eight gas lens instead of a jumbo, but if you really wanted to build one of these up without having all of the insane oxides on it, pretty much the only way to do that is with a massive uh, lens in, uh, and or you can use a, a argon chamber for it. So either way, we're just kind of building up the edges on this one. Now again, I like to make the tornado change directions. So as soon as I've you know, pretty much satisfied with, you know, the size that it's getting and it's, it's, you know, directional changes it's made or whatever the case is, 
You see it slumping on one side there. I'm just going to go back through and build up the edge again. Really quick, really easy. Now it's really unique. I actually had a lot of fun editing this video and uh, creating it and shooting it and whatnot. So as I speed this up here and I built up that one edge, yeah, it's just it's really cool to watch. If you don't want to hear my voice, you know you can just turn down the turn down the volume there and you know do some like satisfaction titanium welding kind of stuff. <laughs> watch it build up kind of like a 3D printer. I, I you know I just think it's fantastic. Maybe I'm rambling here, but either way, build that edge up. Get it back to uh, back to flat again, so I can start working around it. It's pretty easy to do. Just you know, really simple. Again, just remember each time that you go around that edge, you go around that circle. Just you know, go around the outside of it. Now this I didn't think I actually had on video, but I did, and you know that was my actual reaction. It's okay, time to hurry this thing up because I was the gauge read zero. <laughs> So, one final edge build up here with lots of dabs, good stabbing on it, nice and uniform and clean, and then I'm going to hit it heavy with the heat and just kind of blend it in there so it matches the rest of it. Now, what good is a, a tornado without some sort of path of destruction? So, that's basically what I'm doing here. Just lay down a few beads to kind of show the tornado's moving and, you know, stuff like that. But there was, there was so little gas coverage at the end of this one anyway, it was, it was really difficult to do, so... Now getting all of these oxides off of here, I thought it would be kind of simple, you know, just hitting it with a wire brush, but to be quite honest with you, I was two and a half hours into welding this little tiny tornado um, by the time I ran out of gas, so I, my patience was uh, growing rapidly, so I just grabbed the wire wheel on the end of the grinder, uh, cleaned out the inside with a drill, hit the outside with a little buff and cut, titanium tornado, there it is. Now that you know how it's all done, what do you need to do? You need to get out there and practice. Grab some filler rod, grab a torch, and make some really awesome stuff. Make sure you tag me along the way on any one of the social media outlets so I can check it out. Now to sweeten the deal and celebrate the kickoff of Season 3, I am absolutely going to give away this particular titanium tornado that was created in this episode. What do you need to do? You need to hot foot it over to Instagram and follow me at the.fabricator. Then you need to find this picture right here with the official giveaway with all the rules in it. You need to repost and share it and you need to use the hashtag TFS Tornado. I'm going to choose somebody at random on Sunday, April 30th, 2017. So make sure you get over there, make sure you repost that, and if you win it, congratulations. I'll make sure I make the announcement when that actually happens. But that pretty much wraps up for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel. Check out some more of these awesome videos, and look in the description there, and you know how to find me. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the rest of that good stuff. I'll see you guys on the next episode.